So this is question 1b. So as usual, we are told to find the general solution of this non-homogeneous differential equation. So we know why it's non-homogeneous, because the right-hand side does not equal to 0. So as usual, to find the general solution, we know that the general solution should be of this form. y equals yc plus yp. So this is the general form. So I'm going to start by finding yc. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I want to find find yc. So finding yc, yc is a complementary function, simply implies solving the associated homogeneous system, homogeneous system of the differential equation. So this implies solving, so I want to solve y prime prime plus 6y prime plus 8y equals 0. Now to solve this, so you start by writing the auxiliary equation which is m squared plus 6m plus 8 equals 0. And then when we when we solve this, we're going to have our m1 to be equal to minus 4 and our m2 to be equal to minus 2. Now since we have two distinct roots for the auxiliary equation, so that implies that our yc should be c1 e to the power minus 4x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x. So this is what we have. So the next thing we want to do is we want to find we want to find yp. So that when we find yp, our sum with yc is going to be the general solution. So the next thing is we want to find find yp. Now to find yp using the annihilator approach, I need an operator that is going to set this whole thing here, that's the right hand side to zero. So the right hand side I have there is 3 e to the power minus 2x plus 2x. So then you observe that the right hand side constitutes two quantities. So you have the first one is this and this is this is another one. So I need an annihilator that um, an operator that annihilates 2x and then an operator that annihilates um, 3 e to the power minus 2x. Then when I've gotten each of them I multiply the two of them together or the product of those two annihilators is going to give me the annihilator of the sum of them. So let me start by writing this. So to find the annihilator, so we know that d squared d squared annihilates annihilates 2x. So we know that already. And then we also know that d plus 2 annihilates 3e to the power minus 2x. So I'm I'm going to repeat this again. If you if you if you do not know how I got d squared or d plus 2, um, there are like a couple of more videos. I've done past that actually explains how to find the annihilator of um, of a function. So since we've gotten the annihilator of this and then this, then the annihilator of 2x plus 3e to the power minus 2x is going to be the product of these two here. So that's going to be d squared times d plus. So since I've already gotten the annihilator of of this, I apply the annihilator to both sides of of this differential equation here. So when applying to both sides, what I have is you have d squared into d plus 2 and then we have d squared plus 6d plus 8y so let's write our y like this equals d squared into d plus 2 so it operates on 3e to the power minus 2x plus 2x. And then since we know that this is the annihilator of this, so this one goes to, it goes to 0. So what we are left with is d squared into d plus 2, d squared plus 6d plus 8y equals 0. So this is a homogeneous equation. Now to solve this, I need the auxiliary equation here. So the auxiliary equation here, wherever you see your d, you place it with m. You have m squared into m plus 2 into m squared plus 6m plus 8 equals 0. And then when you solve this, so you observe we have m equals 0 and the multiplicity is 2 because of the 2 that we have here. And then we also have m equals minus 2. The multiplicity here is also 2. As after you factorize this, 
you're going to have 2, this is going to give us m plus 2, m plus 4. So you can see we have 2 of this. That's why it has a multiplicity of 2. And then lastly, we have, so I'm going to call this, a, and then we also have m equals minus 4. So based on this, I can write the general solution of this, of the homogeneous term to be y equals c1 plus c2x, then plus c3e to the power minus 2x plus c4x e to the power minus 2x since it's a multiplicity of 2 and then lastly plus c5 e to the power minus 4 minus 4x so this, this is what we get so the next thing is we want to identify yc so we can get yp from there so since our yc is e to the power minus 4x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x so I'm going to look for terms in the, the solution I got that contains this and this, minus 4x and minus 2x. So I think I've already found one here. So you have minus 4x here, you have minus 2x here. So this gives me my yc. So that implies that the remaining is going to be for yp. So this is the remaining here. So this is this is going to be for, for yp. So therefore I've been able to find an assumed form for my my particular solution so therefore let's say yp equals c1 plus c2x then plus c4x e to the power minus 2x so since i've gotten yp the next thing is i want to substitute my yp into here then compare the two of them so i can find the respective um, um, unknown terms so I need to find y prime and y prime prime. So from here I can find my y p prime, which is going to be. So since I have um, okay, and anyway, y you you might not be very very conducive, or you might not really like the constant you're using here. You might want to write it in a new way. Probably you call this a. Your c one you can call it a plus plus b x plus c x e to the power minus 2x since we have been using terms like this in um, in the past videos so when we differentiate a plus bx plus cx e to the power minus 2x what we would have is b plus c e to the power minus 2x plus cx minus 2 e to the power minus 2x and then to find the second derivative of this we take the derivative of this and we also have minus 2 c e to the power minus 2x plus c so we apply product through here and here into minus 2 e to the power minus 2x plus c x into 4 e to the power minus 2 minus 2x so having gotten all this we substitute all these um, all the terms all these all the expressions we got here we substitute them back into the um, the original differential equation so when we substitute that, what we would obtain is so on substitution we obtain 8a so I don't want to go through the long since it's just algebra we're going to be doing next so we obtain 8a plus 2c e to the power negative negative 2x then plus b into 6 plus 8x now this equals the right hand side the right hand side is 3 e to the power negative 2x plus 2x that's what we have here this is the right hand side so we set it equal to the right hand side so that is 3 e to the power negative 2x plus plus 2x so at this point in time we collect like terms all the constants on one side, the coefficient of x on one side, and then the terms that contains e to the power negative 2x at another side. So when we come when we when we call it like terms, we have 8a plus 6b, then plus x times 8b, then plus e to the power minus 2x times 2c. Now this equals 3e to the power minus 2x plus 2x. So we want to compare, you compare coefficients now. So on comparing coefficients, 
the constant we have here is 8a plus 6b and then since there is no constant here so we say 8a plus 6b equals 0 now also the, the equation of x here is 8b while the equation of x here is 2 so we say 8b equals 2 and then lastly the the equation of x um, e to the power negative 2x here is, is 2c while the equation of e to the power negative 2x here is, is 3 so we'd say 2c equals 3 and then on solving this 3 linear equation what we would obtain for each of them is so from here we have c equals 3 all over 2 then we have b equals 1 all over 4 and then we also have our a to be minus 3 all over 16 so I've been able to find a value for a, b and c so I'm going to substitute all these values into my a, b and c there so therefore my yp so using this this our uh, yp here is minus a that is um, that's a which is minus 3 all over 16 plus plus my b which is 1 over 4x and then plus my c so that's plus 3 all over 2 x e to the power minus 2x so i've been able to find a value for yp and then i also already have a value for for my yc here this is my this is my yc here so since I have a value for yp and yc then I've been able to find my general solution so the general solution so I'm just going to write general solution is just y equals yc plus yp as indicated earlier and my yc from the above result is c1 e to the power I think I can remember that e to the power negative 4x plus c2 e to the power negative 2x then plus my yp which is what I just got here and that is minus 3 you could put them in brackets anyhow that suits you minus 3 over 16 plus 1 over 4x plus 3 over 2x e to the power negative 2x now this is the complete solution of the original differential equation that we are given that is this differential equation here and then that completes the problem.